Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today. So I have a haul from Dessa's Homespun Scents. Um, she's actually a local vendor to me. Um, she's in Gilbert, Arizona and I'm in Phoenix. So she recently did a restock on April 9th and I received the package yesterday, April 20th. Um, so it was a ready to ship, not a pre-order. So it was very quick and I got it very quickly soon after it shipped because I live so close to her, which was awesome. Um, so I quickly just like took out the packing peanuts and did like a quick snifferoo earlier this morning, but I figured I'd go through everything more thoroughly with you guys. So up at the top here is, um, oh, and the order did come with an invoice, which I'm not going to show just because my address is on it and I've made that mistake before. Um, so let me actually move this box out of the way. Just leave it on for the, uh, just cut it. Just like that. Okay. Um, so what the first thing here is this little bag of samples and like a little thank you card. So I'll go ahead and open this up. I actually didn't open this bag up. Um, okay. So thank you for supporting my small business. I'm just going to cover that wax <laughs> spill over there. And it looks like there's a couple of thank you cards. Um, oh, there's a back here. Oh, our wax is ready to melt. Extra cure time is optional but not required. Our wax is soft enough to slice with a butter knife or wax cutter. Slice off a little or, oh, as little or as much as desired. Um, yeah, and then like just a bunch of other tips for getting the best scent throw. So super cute. And then I'll just put this over here. And then I guess this is another business card with just her shop's name. And then a little handwritten note, which is really sweet. It just says, thank you, Noir. Happy melting, Dessa. Okay. Um, so the first sample here that I've got is warm apple churros. And um, this was actually in her restock, but I don't believe I picked it up, but I did pick up a churro scent. And this is so good. It really smells like a warm, bubbling apple pie. Um, really, really yummy. I'll save that for the fall. This really pretty one here is called Ice Cream Parlor. Yeah, and that just smells like a really creamy, sweet vanilla ice cream. Really yummy. And last but not least, I've got Smoky Mountain Christmas. It's very Christmassy. Oh wow, that's a very strong tree scent. I haven't smelled that in a while. Um, it's starting to get really hot in Arizona, so this smells um, totally off season, but I'm excited to be saving this for the winter. And also guys, I'm really sorry about my hands. I was refilling my fountain pens and cleaning them out today. So I have ink on them and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I can get it off, um, before the video. Okay. So I only got two kinds of wax. I got the decorated sort of, I don't know, like square souffles is what I would call them super cute and then I got breakaway bars so I'm going to go over the decorated souffles first and then I'll go through the breakaway bars um so this first one here is mornings on main street it's her house blend and this was since this was my first time getting anything from her shop I wanted to choose a bunch of her house blends I've tried a few of her scents through d stashes but never um directly from her website so yeah, so the scent notes for this are fresh brewed coffee and sweet bakery cookies. And this is a part of her Main Street Memories collection. I will take these out because they are just beautiful. And I think they deserve to be showcased. How adorable is that? And her wax is definitely on the softer side. But not like completely melting in your hands though. Yeah, this is really good. It smells like a very sweet coffee. I think to some people, um, this may smell slightly skunky. 
It is like that skunky coffee oil, but it's really sweetened up. So I don't get that skunk scent too much. So it's not my favorite coffee oil. Um, I usually don't love fresh brewed coffee or coffee bean oils. Um, I found that they tend to be more skunky than espresso scent oils. But that being said, this is not one that I wouldn't melt. Like it smells good. Um, just not, just not my favorite coffee. But I am excited to try it. Next up, I've got floating lanterns. And this is sweet lavender apricot tangerine. And it's inspired by Tangled, that beautiful Tangled scene that so many of us love. Um, and these decorated loaves are all from her Main Street Memories collection. And these went really quickly, just by the way. How beautiful is that? And they all, all of these decorated loaves come with a little Mickey Mouse um, shape. So pretty. And this, you guys, it smells absolutely beautiful. It truly smells like a beautiful, cozy, sweet lavender with a citrus note to it. Um, I honestly can't specifically make out apricot or tangerine, but I do like smell something citrusy with that lavender and it's absolutely beautiful. If you are a fan of lavender blends, I highly recommend that one. Um, next up, I've got Seize the Day, um, and in quotes it says, Mine, 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 and this is also a house blend, and this is Ocean Air, Driftwood, Hints of Sea Moss, inspired by Nemo and those blasted seagulls. She doesn't have pour dates on her labels, but I don't really mind. How adorable is that? Oh my goodness. I love it so much. Ah, this is so good. The driftwood is not too strong. I really get an aquatic, earthy blend with like salty sea air. But it's not like headache inducing like many aquatic earthy blends can be to me at least this is like beautiful and subtle but still super fresh i love it really really pretty next up is under the sea and the scent notes are where life is just better under the sea clean and invigorating unique green oceanic spa-like blend this one got a little bit smushed up top but that's okay so pretty oh this is phenomenal this might be my favorite so far i don't even know how to describe it it smells sweet, but earthy and soothing. It's truly like a spa blend. And I think this is one that I can't see anyone not liking this blend. Like I really can't think of anyone that wouldn't like this. It's just very soothing without being overwhelming um in any way so it's not like overly sweet it's not overly earthy it's not overly aquatic or clean it's definitely not laundry i just it's like the perfect balance i don't know how she did that and the last decorated loaf i have is bayou princess and this is bamboo oak moss sea salt orange blossom inspired by princess and the frog Ooh, this one got kind of smushed too, but that's okay. So cute. Poor little froggy. Got a little messed up. This is very earthy. This, to me, smells like 
damp rocks in the best way possible. I love the scent of damp rocks. If you don't, you may not like it, but this smells like damp rocks, like you're sitting by the ocean on like a dry rock, but the rocks next to you are getting hit by the waves and they've got like a little bit of like algae and, and moss on them because they're always getting wet from the waves. That's what this smells like. I love it so much. Really, really good. Oh my gosh, so far, I'm really excited. I think the only one that I, in retrospect, would have passed on is this one, but I just wanted to try her coffee. But these other four are like major winners so far. On cold snip, obviously, I have not melted any of these. I'm just gonna move this a little bit back so I have some more room. So now moving on to the breakaway bars. Um, the first one here is sugared melons, and this is how our breakaway bars look. Similar to like L3 Spooji bars, and a bunch of other vendors do this as well. Um, and it's actually one of my favorite forms of wax. I think it's just so easy and the perfect size to just break off and pop in the warmers. So this is watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, sugar, and vanilla. This is so good. It, oops, sorry. Um, I get the watermelon first actually, and it's just a sweet like candied watermelon. And honestly, I'm not really getting much honeydew. Usually honeydew's like the overpowering scent, but this to me smells like a candy, like watermelon lollipop or something. Next up, I've got pineapple frozen whip. This is just like a cup of pineapple dole whip. And this is again from her Main Street Memories collection. Yeah, this is really good. To me, it honestly just kind of smells like, um, like a fresh, pineapple. I don't get like much creaminess that I'd expect in like a dull Whip blend, um, but I love pineapple blends, so I'm very, very excited about that. Oh, this one. Okay, next is Sweet Macerated Strawberries. This is one that I feel like everyone talks about from Dessa's. Um, so it's sliced strawberries coated in sugar until the natural sweet syrup is released. I think the first person who comes to mind who I remember talking about this is... Um, Jenny, here on YouTube. Yeah, this is so good. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the best strawberries I've smelled. And it truly smells like when you are making like, some, like a baked good with strawberry and you have it on like the stove and you're warming it to make like a like a jammy syrup as a filling or something, that's exactly what this smells like. It's really good. And it does not smell at all artificial to me. Next up is Fireflies. This is Roasting Marshmallow, Cedar Wood, Damp Night Air, and Campfire. Oh wow, interesting. The first note I would say that I get is campfire, like a dry, woodsy campfire note. It's all, it, to me, this smells like a beach nights mixed with like a strong campfire. Um, it's not super smoky, but it smells like a real piece of wood that you're um, burning, if that makes any sense. Um, next up is Polynesian Paradise. This is Transport to the Polynesian Hotel Lobby, Herbal Teas, Bamboo, I'm sorry, the description is Transport to the Polynesian Hotel Lobby and the scent notes are Herbal Teas, Bamboo, Green Florals, and Citrus. I don't know if that's a reference to something quite honestly. This is a very green scent. It, I get that like, 
I actually get a green tea note in here first, mixed with like a fresh green plant. Yeah. And like something kind of like minty. It might just be like, actually I think that's the bamboo that I'm getting. Like it's so fresh, the plant, that it smells slightly minty to me, if that makes sense. I like it a lot, but it's very, it's very herbal green. So you have to like bamboo to like that and green tea, because that's the first note that hits me. Next is Pirate Voyage. This is Pirates of the Caribbean inspired. So this is sea sprayed, or sea spray aged wood, cannon smoke, musty water. I don't know. So I haven't been to Disneyland recently, but I know that there's like a Pirates water scent in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And I know that it has a specific scent. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be emulating that, but I know a lot of vendors do do that. And this is really nice. So this smells aquatic with like a smoky wood scent. But there's something very addicting about this scent that makes me want to keep smelling it. It's really nice. Um, I think you do have to be like an earthy, smoky lover to like it though but like you know that being said it's not like super strong or anything like that um it's still subtle i don't know at least on cold sniff so we'll see how it is on one. next up i've got churro cart this is deep fried pastry rolled in cinnamon sugar yeah and this is really good it smells like a funnel cake scent so something deep fried with cinnamon sugar exactly what the description says it's really good it's really 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 good i will probably save that for the fall next up is iced circus cookies this is animal shaped sugar cookies covered in pink and white icing and candy sprinkles i like trying iced circus cookies from a lot of vendors because it just smells so good yeah this smells like a thick like it smells like a sugar cookie with a thick thick layer of frosting with like sprinkles on top i'm thinking of the cookie that one of my best friends actually just made me for um easter and i had that last night and it smells like what that tasted like super yummy Okay, the last breakaway bar here is Journey Over Pandora. This is Fly on a Magic Banshee over floating mountains, luminescent woodland trees, oceans, and waterfalls. I got a lot of earthy scents from her. She had such a good selection of earthy fresh scents. Yeah, this is good. Um, I would describe this as more aquatic. Yeah, I would describe this as more aquatic, slightly, ever so slightly cologne leaning, but really not that strongly. So it's a very fresh aquatic scent um, that could be like um, a fragrance. Um, but yeah, that's it for my haul. I am really, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the cold sniff so far. She does say that you don't need to cure her wax and you can start melting right away, but I'll probably let it sit for just like a week or two before I start melting, but I am so excited. I would say standouts for me, absolutely under the sea. Um, Floating Lanterns is beautiful. Honestly, all of these four were amazing. Um, this smells really decadent. The Sugared Melon smells really fresh and nice. Pirate Voyage smells wonderful. Firefly smells really good. The Sweet Macerated Strawberries. The Churro Cart's really good. 
Um, yeah, I think those are my favorites, a lot of them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys picked up anything from her, if you've tried her in the past, and what your favorite scents are. I will see you guys next time. Bye!